So this is my second collection with Privé Reveaux. It's called M3 because they're all named with M's and there's three of them. I know it's super original. Um, I really am heavily involved in the creative process, meaning that I am the only part of the creative process. I drew every single one of these frames you're seeing in front of me. I got prototypes, probably at least six of each frame, and I was really detail-oriented. And the reason why I love this company so much is because they let me be detail-oriented. They don't find it annoying at all, which is amazing. Um, and so I can really put out products that I'm proud of and I love. Um, I've only put out one photo so far of them because the, they actually go on sale on May 27th, so it's still kind of early and new. But it seems like fans are really excited about them, which is really exciting for me. It was really fun. I mean, it was my first Mac Gala, and uh, I didn't really know what to expect. Like Lily and Cole, kind of like filled us in when they went there, like last year. Uh, but for the most part, it was a new experience, and to be able to experience that with my best friends is also very rare and and fun. And it was very just surreal, honestly. It's the only word I've been using to describe it. I'd never been to the Metropolitan Museum of Art before, so I also got to soak all that in, and it was just so inspiring to be around all of those people in those amazing outfits and to see how many different people took different ways of interpreting camp like i thought that was such a cool theme and what a fun first theme to have like you get to play and take risks i mean it was kind of like the dream met well what do you do with your best friends that's what we do that's it. Out. We're just well, normal people. We just yeah. hang out. That's all we do. We okay. eat food, order Postmates, whatever. We just chill. Yeah. Well, the thing that's coming to mind right now is the episode that just aired because I watched it last night. Episode 321, Cheryl decides to sacrifice her life for Tony, and I think it's such a beautiful moment for Cheryl to like reveal her true self and to be vulnerable and like the love that she has for Tony is unlike any other and it's just a really beautiful moment and Venice and I both were obsessed with that scene and also just doing a bunch of stunts with your best friend is really fun like running in and saving her from having her organs cut out and then running through the hallways and when we were running through the hallways uh, I actually had this really now that's out I can post it, I have this really funny Instagram story that I took of us running and she forgot to say her line and I happened to be filming as she forgot and I was like are you gonna say your line and we're like running down the hallway it's really funny I've got so much good clips from that them out actually. Yeah, you know, there was one dream YouTuber that I actually got to knock off a long time ago, Shane Dawson. I am like his number one fan. He is such a great creator and I got to work with him, I think, was it a year ago now? A good amount of time ago. And I did a Riverdale conspiracy theory video with him and then we did a skit over on my page because one of my friends told me he likes to do that kind of stuff. So I took a shot in the dark, took a risk and it was really fun and he's a wonderful human being. I think most children, and obviously there are some kids who are born with confidence, I was not one of them. I was one of two redheads, the other one being my brother, in a small town with parents who are South African, raised plant-based, and without religion. So I was really kind of different from everybody else in my, in my town, and um, we were made fun of for being redheads, which is so silly and stupid now, and I just, you know, in the moment, of course, I didn't know what I was doing, and I was sad, and I didn't have a lot of friends, but as you get older, you start to realize the things that people find um, not even threatened by, but the things that people make fun of you for or the things that people, like, that stand out about you are actually things that make you unique and that you should embrace the most. Um, and something that I've learned from playing Cheryl is that she happened to be a little bit of a bully season one. And it's interesting because I realized very quickly that the reason why she's lashing out at people has nothing to do with the people she's around, it has to do with the way she feels about herself. So if you are being bullied or you feel insecure, remember that the people that are treating you poorly actually probably just aren't happy with who they are. It has nothing to do with you. You know, um, I definitely do think that that is out there. I think the beautiful thing about being on the show where there are so many strong females is that we all lift each other up and support each other with that. And I think we all, I mean, I'm with a group of women who really stand for body positivity and being yourself online and not caring about social standards and, and just, um, and society standards and just being who you are. And I think that's one thing that's nice about being a celebrity in this day and age is that it's really embraced to be who you are for the most part. And that's what I try to put out to my fans because I really want them to just be themselves.